How to watermark a group of images with Adobe Photoshop Elements. Before starting the process, we should put all of our photographs that we want to watermark in a single folder. And I've created one here for this demonstration called Output within my Pictures folder. And these are just some sample images that I've chosen. So let's start by launching Adobe Photoshop Elements. And then we'll select the photo editor. To be able to do this, we must be in expert mode. So let's click that. And then we can go back to choose file, process multiple files. So let's start by making sure that we're in folder mode. We are. And then let's choose the output folder that we have our images in. So we'll go to libraries, pictures, my pictures, and there's that folder output. Select that. And then destination. It must be a different folder so we don't wipe out our, our original pictures. So again, libraries, pictures, my pictures, and there's the one I had created before called Mark. This should be an empty folder. Uh, we don't want to rename the files, but we do want to resize them to ensure that all the images are the right size and our watermarking looks appropriate. I've entered 1280 pixels, which is a good size, large enough for a nice image, not so large that it's unwieldy or easy to pirate. And uh, now let's see, do we want to change the file type? No. Let's go up to the right here. Do we want to make any changes? Probably not. Only thing we want to do is watermark. So we start by entering the text that we want to have on the image in the watermark. So I've entered copyright John Novice, comma, all rights reserved, which is a good standard copyright legend. I want to position that in the bottom right, which is better than the original default. Tahoma is a perfectly acceptable font, but we could change that if we decided we wanted a different style. 12 points, that's the size of the font, is good for the 1280 pixel image size that we selected. Uh, we do want to change the opacity. However, let's change that to 75. Thereabouts, there are 75. And let's change it from black to white. That's a little less obnoxious and tends to work well. So we've selected up here in the left-hand corner, verified that the new color is going to be white. We could have just typed uh, six Fs into this box down there. That's one way of doing it. Um, and then we'll click OK. Now we verify that we indeed have white color, 75 opacity, 12 points, so Tahoma, bottom right. So it all looks good. So let's click OK and get started here. There go our images. Let's get rid of this dialog box. We don't need to worry about that. And all the images have now been watermarked. So let's pull up one and see what it looks like just to verify that Everything went OK. So we're going to open. We're in my pictures. So let's choose the mark folder and we'll just pick up one of those images. And now when we take a look at it, we see that there's our copyright legend in the lower right hand corner, about the right size. It doesn't quite obscure the image, but it's clear. So that's a good choice. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.